I got to talking about how they changed into the call center and this and that. But I meant to say that there was a woman in the second office from the one that was supposed to be my caseworker. And I heard her over there saying, I'm going to need this. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need all that. So it's like y'all already premeditated to steal and do whatever you, you did to, you know, because you, I guess y'all been getting away with it. No one ever called you out on it. Because y'all sitting around here threatening people, um, talking about, you better not say nothing and all this. I'm not a child. I'm a grown woman. And you're not going to tell me what to do because you're going to do your job or you don't need your job. And somebody else is going to do your job and do it better and appreciate the job. Since y'all want to get over here firing people for stupid stuff. So I remember starting March, I was working like three jobs. I was subbing, I was doing some side gigs, I was doing DoorDash, I was doing all of that, you know, because I was trying to get back on my feet because of this illegal eviction. And, you know, it's crazy that I should even have to work three jobs when I could be making what I'm making with those three jobs on one job, to, to just be clear about it. Um, and once I started doing DoorDash, I realized what I used to pick up shifts for Kelly, it changed. Like it'll be like the certain beep when you when they're letting you know that somebody needs to come in or it's, it's a spot available um, for you to fill in for a teacher. So once I did the DoorDash, the Dean started sounding just like DoorDash with the substitute position. So I was like, okay, so they couldn't fire me through Kelly. But let me tell you, they fired me once they realized they had got me in place. And, you know, it was summer. And it was like, you know, I guess they figured it out. They're trying to find another way to um, stop me from being able to pay my rent. So they got me fired. I had just made Top Dasher. They got me fired. They lied. I went to deliver the order at the boat. I don't even go to the boat. I've never been to the boat before. So I went to one of these boats and this girl just gave me the run around. She lied. I'm up here waiting to give her her food. She's saying she's on the way. She never came. And then she must have went through the Dash app and made it seem like I was taking too long to deliver her food. When she saw me, she was coming. She was about to come get the food. I'm sitting there waiting with the food in my hand. And it was like, okay, so y'all fired me based off of what she said. You didn't review it. You didn't even get back with me. You, you, The wages that I did in there, you didn't even give me my wages out of there. Like, it's been no communication. So, when people are doing uh, inside jobs and they're envious and jealous for whatever reason, I don't even know why. I mean, I'm confident and all, but, you know, it's not worth all this. Like, this is crazy. This is, like, really psychotic. Let's see how it's like they get together and let's see how we can stop this woman right here. She just won't stop. She keep doing stuff. <laughs> so we got to stop her. It's like y'all come together to do all that, but you need to come together and fix that mall up there and put some businesses in there so everybody can eat while you sit here taking from other people. I mean, I've just never seen so much opportunity out here and no one wants to do anything. All they want to do is chase men all day. Baby, let me tell you one thing. I'm 42 years old. I do not look it. And I would never chase a man. Ever. <laughs> I'm telling you. Everything that, every person that has talked to me, it's been kind of like, they approach me. I'm not going to sit here and spend my whole life running behind a dude so that I can be his number one. Because you might not ever be his number one. You get what I'm saying? They got options. Everybody has options. So I was like, People want to try to, it, it's just too much. But I said all that to say this, because I know how people do me. That's why I had three jobs, just in case I got fired from them and fired from this. It's crazy. I shouldn't have to hold down three jobs because I just, I'm already knowing how they move and how they be trying to do people or how they do me. I think it's just me. Nobody else has this problem but me. But yeah, they really act got me fired since they couldn't get me fired through kelly they got me fired from the doordash that's crazy huh but you know what one thing about god no matter how you try to how you try to sabotage everything that i do he still blesses me 
And that should make you sit back and think because my heart is right. I do everyone right. I don't treat anyone any differently, whatever status it is. They can be rich. They could be poor. They could be in between. They could be another race. It doesn't matter. I don't treat anybody any differently. I treat everybody like a human being. And that is why, and at some point, <clears throat> even though, you know, I, I actually, you know, love people hard. I love people like I've never been loved. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I have to break away from that because people take advantage of that. So <laughs> you gotta just, you have to guard your heart and see, I have to just stop, you know, doing for people. So when you stop doing for people, they just feel like, oh, she not gonna do nothing else with me. I'm gonna take it from them. <laughs> yeah. But like, this is just childish. I really, <laughs> I don't have time for this. And at this moment, you're still in ideas. You're getting mad. I was trying to do a, a at home daycare. They tried to stop that because I'm not about to work for nobody else's daycare. I don't care what you say. You're not going to work the heck out of me and have me overworked. Then, on top of having me overworked, you're going to sit here and get me in a room with somebody that never is at work. So, therefore, I'm carrying the load. I'm always over ratio. Then, you want to pay me this little chunk change? No. Then I was trying to do, you know, like I cook and I create different recipes. That was an issue. And some people have, you know, actually tasted and oh, they, they, you know, really like it or whatever. But it's like nobody ever understood the assignment. You know, word of mouth is very powerful. So what you needed to do was tell the next person, be like, oh, this chick over here, she cooks, she bakes. You know, we might should get her to do something, pay her to do something for her. No, everybody wants stuff for free. No, I'm not that chick. I'm not. I sometimes do things and get things out, samples and stuff like that. But some people would take advantage of that. And so, just like you pay anybody else, you can pay me. So, it's just, it's just something. It's like you will never get the support that you deserve. Everybody's always trying to get over and see how they can... <laughs> get stuff for free but that's a whole another story but i hope they get this together with this state because at this point this is a mess <laughs>